Hi there. In this video, I would like to speak a few words about Mr. Ronald Bernard, supposedly ex-bankster, insider, whistleblower, and the alternative media. My name is Joris. I'm Dutch, same as Mr. Bernard. My focus will be on the alternative media in the Netherlands, but I'm sure if you're living in the West, the situation in your country is exactly the same. That is also why I do this vid in English, so people can take a critical look at the information they consume from alternative media where they live. Now, as a well-known character in the alternative media from the United States, I will take and use Alex Jones as an example. First, let's have a look at Mr. Bernard. Now, I don't want to be picky, but Mr. Bernard seems to be somewhat confused on how to pronounce his own name. Het is gewoon Ronald Bernard. Mijn naam is Ronald Bernard. Het is gewoon Ronald Bernard. Mijn naam is Ronald Bernard. He is a 55-year-old man. We can see how he looks. Uh, I won't mention the hook nose. Um, he's been active for a couple of years running his United People Foundation and his Bank of Joy. And that's about all we can verify. All the rest we might think we know about him comes from himself. Nothing on his story we can check. Nothing. And to be honest, his story sounds like a Hollywood movie. First problem is the time frame. According to his story, he must have been only 21 years of age to be a successful businessman. And somewhere in between, he must have been schooled in four courses, courses of study. <clears throat> We cannot find any trace of this business success or his days in university, however, and can only believe his story or not. Then he became a high-ranking bankster, dealing with big money from the elites. How he got to that position is rather vague. He doesn't mention, for example, if he is or was a Freemason. At a certain point, he says he was invited to child sacrifice and he had a mental breakdown. So, suddenly his conscience stirred. He crashed so hard, he says, that he died and was reborn again. He went out of his body and when he returned, everything was different. Ronald now loves Jesus and is following the line. He turned from a big bankster criminal to a good human being trying to make money in a way that is good for the world and humanity. Isn't that beautiful? Don't you want to believe a story like that? Especially when we see real emotions. In these times of crisis actors that are not even able to cry for real, we are confused when someone really cries, even if it is just one tear. Remember the movies? We've seen so many actors really cry. And we might have cried as well, believing the story movie at that moment. If you bring up a memory that makes you cry, you cry for real. Maybe Ronald really was abused as a child. Does real emotion also mean the whole story is real? Remember the movies? I bet a lot of us who just woke, woke up to 9-11 or the world's elite power structure, the banking system, the Holocaust or any other eye-opener looked first at people like Alex Jones and were positive towards their efforts. After a while, however, you start to see the amount of disinfo this guy is spreading, very much fear-based and selling crap products using this fear he installs. Then you also start to think about the fact that his whole family is CIA. He's a great friend of Israel, supporter of the puppet Donald Trump, and he wasn't filming Bohemian Grove because he was an alternative rebel, but because he's one of them, playing a role to convince people that are fed up by the mainstream media. He tricks them in his web. This goes for almost all alternative media. It is the corporate media 
with another dress on. And they use it very cleverly because they know that those understanding some lies can very easily be convinced to believe in new lies. For example, the greatest argument used by the flat earth liars is that NASA is lying. So they refer to lies people think they understand to be lured, lured into believing new lies. Not just that, it is also preparing people for the new world. This is pushed by the United Nations, for example. And they have agents all over the place. Mr. Bernard is clearly one of them. He used this campaign, it's a series of interviews, and in the same time putting out a lecture on the Bank of Joy, he used it to sell his new bank. Let's look at the organizations he represents. What catches the eyes are the logos with the pyramid thing going on. In the mirrored B, there is a strong phallic symbol as well. In the United Peoples Foundation, also a strong pyramid symbol and the symbol for recycling. This foundation was set up around the Universal Declaration of Human Rights from the United Nations. The Bank of Joy, in Dutch, the Blije Bank, is under construction. All they need is a banking permit. They need a certain start amount for that, and you can help them out by purchasing a certificate for only 100 euros. They have a real interesting story on how they become a bank on a license from the Great British Empire. They don't name a country, however. Through the back door, they should be able to be an active bank in the West, starting with the Netherlands. It won't be a normal bank. No, it's going to be a special bank. It will be a bank from the people, for the people. They just want your savings. This money will be invested in good companies and initiatives, and all the owners of the bank decide where it will be invested in. They won't spend more than the total savings. No lending with interest, just investing and charging fees to cover the expenses. Sounds good, huh? A bit too good. The entire thing has United Nations Agenda 21 written all over. We saw a similar, similar hype some years ago about people who wanted to reclaim their name and be sovereign. Sovereign people. Some of the not-so-smart really tried and were kicked out of their homes to live on the street. This was the United Nations initi initiative played out by some of their agents. Another thing to consider is this is a good old-fashioned money scam. So if you actually buy Alex his male fertility, fertility pills or Ronald his bank of joy certificate, you could be scammed and get nothing in return. I think it will be both a scam and a piece of new world programming. They want people to unite and embrace the new world order. To finish, some words on the controlled alternative media. Someone telling us things we could have known already is not a whistleblower. Ronald Bernard is not a whistleblower. He gives no names or details, not on his own criminal past or on other individuals. Nobody will be punished for any of his claims, and all he says in the interviews and lectures are either stories we cannot check or pieces of information already on the internet for years and well known by most truthers. He is selling fear and insecurity. The monster of more, united, recycling, profit, doing good, inclusiveness, sustainable, one currency, one bank, one world. He uses real emotions and media campaigns spread over spread out over several, several months and lots of suspicious hand movements in the interviews. And the alternative media 
with a few attackers to give a credible bit of resistance, are, are helping him to sell what he wants to sell. This is what they do. So amongst the well-known subjects, the World Wide Web is full with already. They distract you with nonsense far away from reality. They spread fear and disinformation. They have budgets they are never transparent about, never going to tell you where the money comes from. And they are programming your mind. They just use a different angle than the mainstream. Don't be fooled when someone cries. They know how to convince you. Cheers.